Looking at the rest of 2020, what what's the number one thing that an organization right now should focus on to make sure that they're set up for the most success in 2021 and, and forward? And Jennifer, I'll start with you. Uh-huh. I would say, <laughs> in case we are returning to an 0809 state, our clients that managed through that successfully and did very well and came out on the other side as leaders, were the ones that had a forward-looking budget and forecast. And it wasn't just to have that as a tool in and of itself. It was because when things changed, we could look at it and say, all right, your sales are down this much. We got to cut out this much of costs. And let's talk about where that should be, you know, and where you're making money, where you're not making money. If you don't have that information, you can't make those decisions. And you definitely can't make them fast enough because I think we've all seen, right, you know, you, you cut a cost, you still have that cost for a month or two. So you've really got to be ahead of that. And so, you know, I think just with all the uncertainty in the world right now, having, having that as a tool to make those decisions is critically important. Chad, how about you? I was going to say the exact same thing. You need metrics and you need the information in front of you to be able to make appropriate guidance decisions and set your forecast, set your compass, know where you're going to be so that, or know where you are planning to be and Now you can make uh, the appropriate steps and the appropriate decisions on how you're going to get there. It's not something that you can necessarily be as as reactive as some organizations may have been. It takes much more of a thoughtful approach, a much more purposeful approach. I've used the word a couple of times here today. Really taking the data that you've got right now that's already both in in the culture of the people that you have within the organization, but also the little bits of data that reflect the workflow, the health of the organization, whether it's the financial dollars or just the number of bids and estimates that are going out or the number of projects that are coming through or the time that it takes to process. Looking at that, putting metrics around it so that you can actually daylight it and make management decisions upon it is going to be the next big thing. 